welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you a quick way to use point and click on the ground to move the player. Okay, so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to select our character, which in this case is the wizard, and we're going to add a playmaker FSM. Then what we'll do is we'll rename it to let's say click to move okay take that little mistake out and then we'll click edit and we'll get rid of that okay so we have now our FSM and we have one state this first state is going to be a wait for mouse click. Okay, so what we're going to need here is we're going to need a variable, and that variable is going to store the position in space that we click on. So, and it's going to be the position that we move to. So what we're going to do in this case is call that variable move to and it's going to be a vector 3. So we shall add that. We're going to need an event which is going to be left click. So we'll add that event and in this case we are going to add transition, left click, and next we are going to add an action. And that action is going to be mouse button down. So we select from the actions the mouse button down and add the action. And in the send event, we're going to say left click. So when we click the left button, it will activate the left click state. So in this case, now we have to add a state where we're going to go to. And this state is going to be the move. So we'll keep it simple and just call it move. And we're going to add one transition, which is going to be finished. So Next, we're going to join up the left click to move and the finished back to wait for a click. So basically, once it's finished its move, it's going to go back into the idle state, waiting for a mouse click, and if you do that again, it moves back into the move. Okay, so what are we going to do with this move? In the first instance, we're going to add an action, and that is going to be the mouse pick. So we select the mouse pick action, add it, and what we're going to do here, as you can see, what the mouse pick does is it sends out a ray from the camera to where your mouse is in space, and when it hits something, it returns the point in space that it hits. So what we're going to do is we're going to store that point. So in store point, we're going to save it in the move to variable that we set up earlier. Okay, so once that's done, we're going to add another action. And it's going to be move. Now you may see here that I have the itween um, commands which we could use, but in this case I'm going to keep it simple in case you don't have them. The iTween tend to be a smoother transition, so if you have them you may want to use these. Um, but in this case, this simple one, we're just going to move, use the move towards. So we add that action. So, what we do here is we have a target position. We click on there and select the variable move to. You'll notice above, we have set that variable move to with the mouse pick and the raycast. 
what we're going to do is we're going to ignore the vertical because we're not interested in that particular axis and we'll leave everything the same except the finish event is going to be finished okay so that should be that Now, you'll notice that I'm clicking here on the left and it's not working properly. Now, what I'm going to show you is a problem here and how to resolve it. Now, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our FSM. In this case, what we're going to do is in the variables is we're going to have a look at our move to and we're going to add it to the inspector so we can see it. Okay. So when we run it again, you'll notice down here in the controls we have the move to. Now when I click on the screen, you'll notice that that isn't changing. Now, the way to resolve that, if it's not working for you, it may well be working for you. And the reason for that is we must click on the camera. And the camera must be tagged as the main camera. Okay, so make sure that your camera is tagged as the main camera. If you haven't done that, the raycast doesn't work properly. So we'll try running it again. And now you can see that our character moves around. If we select the wizard and we come down and look at the move to variable, we can see that when we click that changes as required. Now you can obviously use all the other tutorials including the animations etc to get that working but I'll just quickly show you one more thing. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to add a look at so that you look at where basically you're going to move to. Okay so we select the move again and what we're going to do is we're going to Go to the action browser and we're going to say look and we're going to say smooth look at add that action again the target position is going to be moved to we're going to do that first again you can use the i tween stuff to make it a smoother operation but in this case as I said I'm just showing you the example here so what we'll do is we'll now move the move towards action to the bottom so it's going to do the smooth look at first and then it's going to move so let's try that run the program and you can see she turns towards The position before moon. As I said before, what you can do in this case is to mix this up with your animations and your interrupts and whatever in the previous tutorials to get that working really nicely. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if there's something else you want to know or any other tutorials in Playmaker or in Unity that you'd like me to cover and I'll try my best to help you out. Thank you. Bye-bye.